Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. So in the series of sharing important questions for IBPS RRB Scale 2 and Scale 3 exam 2023, today I'm sharing RBI guidelines covers. Very important questions from RBI guidelines from the previous one year. Uh, students, what I have noticed in the IBPS RRB Scale 2 and Scale 3 exam that many questions from the latest uh, guidelines are, are asked, but many times one year old, two year old guidelines questions are also asked. Puchik Purane questions are jate hai. That is why I'm doing today's session, right? Let's start with the question number one. Before starting, let me tell you IBPS RRB Scale 2 and Scale 3 course has already been started on bankexamstudy.com. Uh, link to join the course is already available in the description. Please check the description. Uh, you'll be getting the complete syllabus coverage uh, along with the quizzes, mock tests, uh, the notes in the PDF format, the interview preparation guidance on bankexamstudy.com. The question number one, the RBI has introduced her payment digital mission. Her payment digital mission with the aim of enabling all citizens in India to use digital payments. So the initiative was launched during the Digital Payments Awareness Week 2023, which took place from 6th of March to 12th of March. Uh, what the mission is uh, centered around a specific theme. What is the theme? The theme was Digital Payment Thapnao or Auron Ko Bhi Sikhao. Okay, that was the uh, theme of this particular mission. Digital Payment Thapnao or Ko Bhi Sikhao. <laughs> The primary objective of counter cyclic uh, capital buffer. So during the uh, the credit growth of bank, they need some additional buffer with them. That is why CCCB is required. So to achieve broader macro prudential goal of protecting banking system, banking sector from periods of excess aggregate credit growth, CCB has been uh, CCCB has been introduced. <coughs> Uh, please go through the Basel 3 norms video students in the course in the financial awareness section of RRB scale 3 course. Uh, go through the Basel 3 norms video. I have already explained the CCCB. So it uh, aim the CCCB aims to protect the banking sector from potential losses. Okay, and to ensure banks have enough capital to support the economy in times of stress. Okay, so go through the Basel 3 norms that will help you. The payment vision 2025 that RBI has in uh, unveiled to outline the thought process for the period up to December 2025. What is the core theme around this vision? E-payment for everyone, everywhere and every time. That is the vision. Payment vision 2025. What is the core theme? E-payment for everyone, everywhere and every time. That is the core theme four E's. Regarding RBI, RBI has launched a pilot project on central digital, uh, central bank digital currency. So which of the following statements are correct? Regarding central bank digital currency, a digital currency known as CBDC has the capability to settle both public and private debts as well as fulfill various financial obligations. This is correct. Holding CBDC also entitled one to receive interest. Sorry, you won't receive interest on CBDC. And CBDC can reduce the high currency to GDP ratio. Obviously, less currency in circulation is required. So first and third are correct. Second one is not correct. You are not going to get any interest. Okay. <clears throat> Let me just hide myself in case you want to read the whole contents. You can. The CBDC will not pay any interest. Okay, the point number one, the CBDC is not going to pay any interest. But obviously, it will uh, lead to less currency in the circulations. Okay, less currency in the circulations. The following, which of the following statements are correct about RBI's card on file tokenization norms? So students, whenever somebody makes a payment on Amazon, on Flipkart or any online retailer's website, uh, I mean, in the past years, they were saving your data, even right now they are saving, uh, they were actually saving your data. But now they are using tokenization. They are converting your debit card, credit card details into a token, which is in encrypted format. 
so that these website cannot store your uh, car details okay so they prohibit merchants from storing the customer data card details that is correct and they require merchants to use unique alternate code names token that is correct they allow customers to enter their card details uh, repeatedly for recurring payments or e mandate and they increase the risk of data breaches no they do not increase the data breaches so a and b are actually correct so the tokenization system it enhances the the convenience it reduces the risk okay the token is issued by card network is specific to combination of cards so a token is actually made so that's uh, that's the answer right students so tokenization process the digital lending guidelines very important circular from the previous year issued by rbi has come into effect on 1st of december 2022 the guideline aims to regulate the digital lending activities of the bank so there are digital platforms where various digital platforms they provide loans to the public to the borrowers uh there are certain guidelines which are the following are false all loans disbursals and repayments must be executed only between the bank and the uh, the accounts of borrowers right so regulated entity means uh, entities which are regulated by reserve bank of india any nbfc or you know any bank regulated by uh, reserve bank of india those are regulated entities so any transaction should be between the regulated entity and the borrower that is a point number 1 which is actually correct so any fees charge charges or amount payable uh, payable to the lending service provider so if there is a mobile application provider right there is a third party which is not a bank okay that is a lending service provider in case any fees charges paid to the lending service provider it is not directly paid by the borrower so second one is false re must disclose all relevant information such as interest rate fees charges to the borrower through key fact statement which is correct the re must obtain the registered entity must obtain consent from borrower for sharing their data with the lsp lending service provider or any third party which is correct the re must conduct uh, periodic audits of lsp to ensure compliance with rbi guideline which is correct the second one is not correct rest of the uh, you know guidelines are actually correct you can pause and then watch it although i have already explained everything pause it and read all that which of the following statement is true about interest coverage ratio very important so interest coverage ratio means how well a company uh, can actually pay the principal uh, the interest of its debt so whatever the money that you are making let's say your interest i mean let's the interest the annual interest expense of a company is 10 crore and the net profit of the company is let's say 100 crore so its interest coverage ratio is 10 okay if you are making 100 rupees okay and your interest is 10 rupees your interest coverage ratio is 10 the higher interest coverage ratio that means your company is solvent it is well off the financial position of the company is good uh which of the following is not a component of stressed asset so a performing asset is one which is generating income to a bank or a borrower who is paying his or her uh emis or loan installments on time that borrower is a performing asset okay a non performing asset uh a non performing asset is an asset which is not gen generating any income for last 90 days i have already done an in depth video on this the irac norms please go through the irac norms in the financial awareness section to understand the npas so in depth has session 30 minute session is there on irac go through that that will help you for sure okay which body publishes composite financial inclusion index the rbi publishes composite financial uh, inclusion index so what is the purpose 
it uh, it measures the level of financial inclusion in the country based on details such as banking investment insurance postal and the pension sector okay the parameters are the index has three major parameters access with 35 percent weightage usage with 45 percent and quality with 20 percent so these are the weightages okay so students ibps rrb scale 2 and scale 3 course it's available on bank exams today.com we provide the video classes the test series the notes the power capsules the live sessions and interview preparation guidance on bank exams today.com this is our whatsapp number where you can actually ask your doubts link to join the course is available in the description please check the description and if there is any doubt in your mind ask your doubts all these students that took our courses in the past and they, they crack their respective exams and i'm really really happy for them and uh, if there is any doubt ask your doubts and that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye